So guys, yes, we are back with my Mercedes-Benz 190E 2.5 16 valve Cosworth, a car that I bought in February. In fact, this was our February car purchase. Now this has been on my bucket list for a while. So I was pretty glad to bag this car from Mitesh, AKA Maybach Man. Um, and in our last episode, and if you tap here, you can watch that episode. We went for a drive in this car. Uh, I explained why this car was on my bucket list. I did a little bit of a comparison against my E30 M3. But today's episode, and before we start talking about what the plans are for this car, I'm gonna bring in Jay and Palm. And they're gonna scrutinize this car. And they're gonna let me and let you guys know, have I bought a decent car? Because I believe I have. Or have I bought a friggin' lemon? So let's bring Jay and Palm in. Well, what can I say? Um, well, that's what I'm saying. What are you saying? What can I say? <laughs> well, actually, do you know what? For a, uh, how old is this car now? 26? 32, 90? 33 years 32, old. 32, 33 years old. Nearly as old as Jay. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, first thoughts, um, it looks quite clean for a car of that age. But yeah, we'll, own, we'll find out more as we look a little bit closer. Right, so let's, let's start with the exterior. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the paintwork. Jay, your paint OCD is second to none. There's a couple of dents, kind of light scratches, but for a car that old, it's not bad. I think the, 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 the biggest issue that I can see with the paintwork is the bonnet. Um, it's got, you could see marks where bird poo's just been left on it, which look, they might be able to get machined out. I think if this car had a two or a three stage polish, the paint will actually come up a treat. It'll look yeah, very good decent. Feeling under the arches, they don't feel that bad. No. Well, you've got to don't... remember, we did check this car out properly yeah, when yeah. we moved to buy it yeah, off no. Mitesh. Yeah. And we sort of looked underneath and he showed us some of the pictures where it had been painted and some of the rust had been uh, treated. Yeah. So externally, not a bad car, guys, would you reckon? No. Now, there's, there's a couple of things that... Niggly bit. That, that I've looked at that, to me, show me it's, a, it's an honest, looked sure. after vehicle. Now, if you have a look at the windows, it's still got the original Mercedes alarm sticker on it. Um, it's got the Blaupunk stereo code sticker on it. It's also still in the rear windscreen, it's still got the supplying dealers um, sticker in the back windscreen as well. So that's normally a telltale sign that who's ever, whoever's owned the car in the past has looked after it. And generally, I think the car has been pretty well looked after in the All past. All right, look, so if you guys were to score the exterior of the car based on what it is now, as it is now, Palm, what would you give it out of 10? Are we taking the age into consideration? I think you need to take the age into consideration. You know, yeah. if we bought a brand new car, even a brand new car sometimes isn't a 10 out of 10. Exactly. So yeah. exterior, what are you guys, Palm, what are you going to rate this at? Six, I'll, seven, I reckon. I'll give it a seven, seven, Six, seven, seven eight, eight out of 10. Okay. I think you've been a bit brutal there. I think it's more of an eight, eight and a half, but... Yeah, but you would say that. I know I would say that. You're the one that bought it, so <laughs> you're, you're going to cover your back. All right, so <laughs> seven out of 10 and seven out of 10 yeah. for the exterior. I picked up on this. There's a little rust bubble here, actually. That needs uh, that's a five now. Shut up. <laughs> um, this aerial palm, guys, come on, man. You're not even doing your job. Is this factory finished? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's factory fresh, that is. See that? Look, that's okay. ventilation. Look, 30 years on, come on. None of the wheels are, are curbed, but I, to be honest with you, they probably do look like they have been refurbished at some point. Um, tires are all good. Jay, I bet, I bet you any money, see the wipers on the headlights, I bet you they don't work. Let's try that out now. Should we have a lunch bet? Yeah. All right, I bet you at least one of them or both of them don't work. Go on, let's have a look. <laughs> oh well, they don't work. <laughs> are they working? <laughs> no. So headlights on, wash wipe. They are- Oh, oh no! I've got a lunch, I've got a lunch. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, they work. Right, so we, we figured that out, they do work. Oh, I've just lost a lunch bet, but that's all right. That's all right. All right. So they do work. Now let's go on Happy to game. the interior guys. Mm -hmm. 
I, I, I love, but the, my only the, the springy seats. I, but that's Mercedes, liked. isn't it? But these I've are quite humble compared them. to the but standard no, ones. In general, I, I'll tell you what the killer killer point is: is the the two seat rear bench. I bet you the sunroof don't work. I bet it does. I, I bet, bet you it does. doesn't. Lunch. I bet you it does. <laughs> no, not another lunch. Come on. I bet it does. I buy your pint. There, there you go. Pint. Wow. So I've got lunch and a pint. I knew it worked because I tried okay, it already. Let's see. Let's see if the tilt works. Yes, it will. Oh, I never say never. Happy days. Sunroof all works. That is flipping cool. Do the mirrors no, work? This is really wicked. This is really good. Oh, oh yeah, mirror mirrors work. work as well. That's manual. The right hand side is manual adjustment, and the left hand passenger side is electric adjustment. Yeah, because you can't reach over to flip and adjust it. Can yeah, you? that's true. All right. So they should have just done both. That's yeah. like cost cutting right there, isn't it? It's got yeah. a little crack With on the edge. dash, but that's common on these. I mean, generally, the dash is in actually very good condition. Yeah, that's not actually the really dash, good. that's just the vent panel. Minor. They, they normally go on that. I'll tell you what, mate, for a 32-year-old car, yeah, it's mint. It's not cracked anywhere along yeah. here. Along but the I know there's two things that don't work that you won't be able to see now, because the car, yeah, nice one, Jay, that does work, because the car is, obviously, engine's turned off and it's static. Firstly, the lap counter doesn't work. And secondly, the uh, fuel gauge, although it's showing two thirds it's got a mind of its own you'll be driving and then it shows that it's got no fuel and then it goes back to full and then it goes two thirds so that's got a mind of its own these seats everything will, once yeah. uh, right. once shampooed up these will come out really nice bolsters all right Jay, yeah. yeah lovely you've got a bit of leather wear on it but that's just yeah, leather wear the, the actual bolster itself underneath is I mean, solid the seats so. actually in and they feel solid did not feel like lopsided or anything Eight, like that. Eighty-seven thousand miles it's genuine that is Nothing. wicked. And does all the service history tally up with that? Tallies all up. The MOTs. Everything. Tallies up. Three owner car as well. Uh, so guys, um, interior out of 10 again. Jay, what are you saying? Eight, nine even. Nine? Yeah, eight, Bob, nine. What are you saying? I'll give it an easy nine, mate. I'll take that. 18 out of 20. Yeah. I'll take that all day long. And that's, um, you know, that's considering it's 32 odd years old. Pop the bonnet. Let's check the engine bay and see. What Jay and Palm think of that? Right, guys, so first impressions. That is not too bad, to be fair. Now, I've seen a few of these over the years, and Jay, you have as well. Yeah, I've seen And you know, they're rock boxes. And... There's so much rust around here, around the struts, around the battery. In fact, hmm, a little bit of rust on, on the, the tray. On the tray, so we'll have to change that tray. Um, yeah, that so bit's gone good. through a bit, isn't it? We'll give that a bit of attention. Soundproofing. Mate, yeah. after 30 years, that's just, look, it's just perished away, look. Yeah, Apparently, well. Mitis goes, he bought that fresh about three years ago, but he didn't stick it on properly. And oh, it that, just started. That, that... I think he forgot to stick it on. He's yeah. probably at home. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. And Mitish, I think you pulled the wool over my eyes there. <laughs> um, yeah, not bad engine, but is it? Wicked. Shall we uh, start it up and... Yeah, give, it, give, give, it, give it a spin. Oh, well, it started on the key. It's a good sign. Slight cap here. It's hunting a little. Yeah, it probably needs a set of e ball. It's probably not been serviced, is it? It hasn't been serviced. It's, it's, yeah, not, been it's serviced. not been serviced. It's not been driven for a while. So maybe a good blast up the motorway might get, get rid of any problems. I think it's going to need a service. Change the belts. Yeah. Fuel change, service. Uh, change the belts. Go over the pipes, any breather hoses. Probably change the leads. leads. Yeah. I mean, it. Remember, guys, 32, 33 years. So take it easy, yeah? Uh, what are you going to give the engine bay, Jay? Five? Five. That's four fingers. That's oh, bit, is it? That's, that's, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> oh, the whole the thing. soundproofing, yeah, including yeah. battery tray, right. bits and pieces. Yeah, there's then. a bit of rust yeah. around there. I'll give it a six out of ten, mate. Okay, so average of five then? Yeah, well, five out of ten, six out of ten. Yeah, all right. Mm. I would have hoped for a little bit more, but I'll take that. Yeah, let's have a look inside the boot. Um, You're gonna give the boot a score? Are you going to find any dead bodies in there? No, but um, if it's still got the original jack and the spare wheel, it'll, it'll give you another I'll give indication. You a bonus point. Well, yeah, I'll give, you a, points, of, I'll give you a couple of brownie points. So let's have a look. Oh, oh wow, this is clean. It's got the spare, uh, it's got the original jack. Toolkit. Um, it's got the toolkit here, which is actually complete. Oh wow, complete toolkit, and the tools are not rusty neither 
So that's that. Brilliant. That looks pretty good behind there. The wheel as well. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's mint. Uh, yeah, the wheels have definitely been yeah, they have that's a refurbished wheel. Yeah, this one's been welded up some or something, maybe. Listen, mate, for after 32 years, I would expect a lot more to be coming out of this, but to be fair, it's looking good. Who's that? Six, seven, eight, eight, seven, eight. eight. Yeah, I'll give the boot an eight out of ten, mate. All right, I'll take that 16 out of 20 for the boot. I wasn't even expecting that. I'll take those points. <laughs> right, Jay, let's get it. Let's get it up in the air and uh, let's see what's going on underneath. Get it up in the air. The question is, are we going to get it on air? <laughs> we'll talk about that <laughs> at the end of this episode. Normally, yeah. the ones I've had on the ramp before, I normally see a lot near the spring turrets and that, okay. which it looks pretty good to be fair on the top and around the inner arches. That looks quite solid. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, underside here, pretty good. Apart from general just surface rust, that's normal. Sump, good. So there's no there's no oil leaks. There's no oil there's leaks. There's a bit of a weep on this uh, on the on the gearbox, but it's that not is, actually a leak. That's that is just, that's weeping over, over years. That's I've over seen years. modern cars with more of a leak than that. That's not even a leak. That's just nothing. Yeah. That's just where obviously the car's been sitting around. Oh. Yeah, that's one of the points that it said. Stop fingering it, Jay. To be fair, it's, it's not that bad because that hole is not actually a rust hole. It's actually the hole for the grommet for the water drain. And it's just missing the, uh, I think, the rubber's there, the jacking point one. It's missing on that side. There's only just a bit of rust around there, but it's not bad at all, so to be fair. To so there's a grommet meant to be there with a the pipe maybe so it drains any sort of water coming down the channels that's all it is there so these got a serious drainage holes which if you'll probably see with the camera you got all these rubber bungs here and that's where the water will sort of seep out from surface rust on a few components exhaust Leaky, so we're gonna to have to replace the exhaust. Well, the exhaust, I, exhaust is blowing. Yeah, I heard pretty, it when you were pretty doing bad. Run, yeah. You can see like, the cracks, through. the water coming through, oh, falling yeah. through. Okay. You can see the corrosion. It's probably been tried to be patched up in the past. Well, good things uh, I see here, Jay, is that a lot of the, the grommets, the screws, uh, they're all in place. You know, yeah. the under sort of the, the plastics, the housings and the, so on, there's all nothing, in place. There's nothing missing. And I've seen cars that are 20 years old and you get them on a ramp yeah. and yeah. underneath is missing. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's been tampered with, it's been played with, you know, this hasn't. Yes. We're saying what we're giving for the underside well, of the car out of 10. Considering it's 30, 32 years old, um, I, I'm, you know what? I'm Seven? I'm going to give it seven Eight? and a half. Seven and a half. I'll give it a seven, seven and a half out of ten. Seven and a half. Yeah. That's considering the age of the car. Okay, seven and a half and you're giving yeah. it an eight. Okay. Bro, it's got an original Mercedes back box. This is an original, so it's obviously been, must have been replaced at some, but whoever done yeah. it, they've replaced it with an original, oh, whether it's been replaced or not. It's got an original Mercedes that has exhaust. To be replaced. There's that, no way. That's definitely 80 replaced. odd thousand yeah, miles. So that that's tells not the... you there was no expense spared on this car. It's not like they went to Euro Car Parts and said, Can I have an exhaust for a 190 Cosworth? Does they that mean I get eight and a half out of ten now? No. Well, just round it up to an eight out of ten from the seven and a half. No. <laughs> That's the walk around of the 190E with Jay and Palm done. Let, let's just get your final opinion, guys. Compared to what's out there. Give it a thumbs up, mate. It's uh, really good. I've seen a lot worse and, you know, it's, it's There's a lot a of rotten ones car. out there. Yeah. I think, to be fair, it's a pretty solid car in the most common areas in that. And it's in cool. reasonably good, Nick. So, scores on the doors, guys. Uh, externally, Palm gave it an eight. Jay gave it a six. Interior, Palm gave it a nine. Jay gave it a nine. Engine, Palm was a five. Jay was a six. The boot, they both gave it an eight. The underside, 
Palm gave you a seven and a half. I don't know where he got the halves from. He gave you a seven and a half. And Jay gave you an eight. So in total, Palm gave it 37 and a half out of 50. And Jay gave it 37 out of 50. So 74 and a half out of 100. That's not bad, actually. And I reckon within a few months, this will be knocking on the door of 100 out of 100. Yeah, we'll make sure it does. Yeah. So guys, yeah. first things first, we need to get that exhaust sorted because that, you can't drive the car like that. It's losing so much back pressure uh, and the power will be down and it definitely needs a service. So that's really the first thing I'm going to be doing. Now, Palm's gonna do some homework and see what exhaust we can get. Maybe a super sprint, maybe something else. I don't know, I'll leave that to you. That's, that's your department. Uh, but once we've got it serviced and the exhaust is done, we're gonna look at the suspension because obviously it's Palm. It's a bit high, isn't it? And what do you normally say? Slap it on its off. Well, he normally doesn't say that, but he says something <laughs> similar. <laughs> Was it, everything looks better when it's lower? I don't know, all Every, these silly phrases that Palm comes out everything with. Everything looks better lower. There, there you go. Anyway, so we're gonna get some lows on this car. Now, I, I've been doing some thinking over the last month or so since I revealed the car. And I think the way to go on this car is coilover suspension. Yes, Palm, would you agree with me? Not really, but we'll go with it. Okay, so he agrees with me. So we're gonna go with <laughs> coilover suspension, um, potentially a brand in mind already. So should we keep yep. that to one side? Yep. Uh, so yeah, the, the next episode will cover the exhaust and the servicing, and we'll do some security. And if the suspension's here in time, we'll throw that into the mix as well. Wheels, we'll leave that for another day because I'm still doing some research on what wheels I want to go for. And obviously in a subsequent episode, we'll cover some of the, the paintwork, some of the rust treatment that we need to do underneath. And we'll talk about audio as well. You know what to do, smash the like button. Thanks to Palm and Jay again. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Obviously there's a lot of content coming your way that we've shot. And I'll see you again on another episode on Cash TV.